And that's the news from us tonight. Good night. Now the HTV Wales headlines. The head of the South Wales Police has pledged there will not be any no-go areas for his officers following last night's attempt to trap three police in a building and set it alight. Chief Constable David East said he owed it to law-abiding people to crack down on troublemakers. Up to now the force has adopted a softly, softly approach. Two Cardiff men have been jailed for a total of 13 years for what was called an evil and sadistic acid attack which left a young girl's face permanently disfigured. 36-year-old Philip Walters, the girl's jilted boyfriend, was given 10 years for the revenge attack. His accomplice, 20-year-old Michael Khalid, was given three years youth custody. The two shared a flat in Riverside in Cardiff when they brewed an acid concoction to throw at 19-year-old Debbie Brown because she left Walters. A helicopter from Brodie in Pembrokeshire winched a yachtsman to safety in heavy seas in the Bristol Channel this evening. The lone sailor called for assistance and the helicopter was sent by the Coast Guards. The man is now recovering in hospital. A hill man with a conviction for ill-treating a toddler today failed in his bid to be released from jail so that he could fight for custody of his two children. The 32-year-old man was last month jailed for six months by Colwyn magistrates after he admitted two theft charges. The judge described his application as a piece of sheer effrontery. A Swansea inquest was told how a form of underground gas called black damp killed one man and knocked out two others at the bottom of an old mine shaft. A jury returned a misadventure verdict on Robert Corbett, a 31-year-old electrician of Betus near Ammonford, who died while trying to rescue one of the others. The three men were part of an excavation team clearing an old site at Emlyn Brickworks at Penagroyce. And finally, football. And spare a thought for the Ryder side tonight. They let in seven goals against Aberystwyth in the Central Wales League. Well, those are the HDB Wales headlines, now the weather. Overnight, there'll be occasional showers, heavy at times. And it'll be windy with strong southwesterly winds in many places. And severe gales at times in exposed southern and western areas. On Saturday, the winds will gradually swing west to northwest, with gales persisting in exposed places for much of the day. There'll be some intervals of sunshine, but generally it'll be cloudy with further showers. Maximum temperatures tomorrow, 10 degrees Celsius, that's 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And there are Storm Force 10 warnings in operation for the Irish Sea and Lundy. That's the weather outlook for Wales. <laughs>